And so in the underworld, more or less, underworld, ground, upper world, and so uh, more or less we act primarily in the way we want to go. And, uh, you know, the, the more one acts this way, the more their world transforms into that. And the more one acts this way, the more their world transforms into that. And the big idea is that it's not necessarily two different worlds. It's all the same world. It's just different arrangements or aspects of life within that world that determine where one is. For instance, in the entire world, you have, excuse me, the spectrum, maybe it goes like that, of all that is. And so in that system, say you drop down in dimension, you might not go to a different world, but within this world, in other words, you go to a different ecosystem. You go to a different aspect of our ecosystem. Just like basically the modern version of this that we've been granted, if you will, uh, is what we call the class system or the caste system where within one single society, you see the separation of ultimately the same format for the ecosystem, which is through different races, different, excuse me, different species. So you see different species through the different races. And as well, it may be that that's actually how the races functioned at one time. And we kind of just forgot. And it might be that this mechanism that enables this forward motion together all as one is what creates civilization and allows a communal uh, experience, which is why war is kind of an illusion because it's kind of like a dog chasing its tail. <laughs>